Hey guys, it's Queen Deja, and in today's video, I will be reacting right to episode two of Yakuza Fiance. If you hear anything in the background that's maintenance, uh, you know, I don't want to spoil my little surprise and I, I want to talk about with you guys on Friday, so I'm not going to say anything. Um, but it's good news. We'll talk about it on Friday, hopefully, if I'm able to stream on my birthday. But let's go ahead and get started in three, two, one, go. I have to turn it the fuck up just so I can hear. Thanks, maintenance. He's so cute when he's fun. Oh, he's right behind. just trying to be like hey i love you i think that's sweet i love that i need my my boyfriend and future husband to do that for me guys like have a device or have a little gps know where the fuck i am what oh, okay i thought you wanted to fuck <laughs> <laughs> what is your grandmother? Why is it and why is it the fact that both of us have to be here? Like, mm. You know, he is just a walking green and red flag because one minute. He's like a sour patch kid. First he's sour, then he's sweet. And you just, you can't. You love both sides of him. You love the toxic side and you love the sweetness side. And I, on the floor, yes. Like, oh, sir. Once again. <laughs> Okay.
Okay. Twenty four seven with him, please and thank you. You made reserve. Oh, my God. Yes, please. <laughs> oh. He's so fucking cute. Like, oh my god. Let me. I'm, I'm gonna die. Nice so too. Oh. Oh, he looks so good in the suit. Like, oh my god. I'm sorry, guys. <laughs> What's wrong? You see how thick his neck, girl. <laughs> right. But remember, he has to be around you twenty four seven, babe.
Isn't that her? That's her. That's and that's not good. Not like that.
Right? And I don't think we want that. Took them all on himself. Girl, that shit hot. Like, <laughs> like. Probably have to buy a new hair dryer, yeah. Yeah, it's just something simple. Yeah, you got stabbed. Right? What else happened to you? Bye. Uh, girl, if you don't want the money, I take it. Ah, girl.
All right. Now, the fact that he's the guy from the opening, what does he want with those two? I mean, okay, no offense, he love fine as I don't know what, like, <laughs> And then what's the way he says he's on a fucking motorcycle? That weak in the knees. See, this is what happens when you end up reading smutty, you know, smutty spicy books and smutty spicy fan fictions and, you know, you know your types. And you know your types well. And you're like, oh. Here comes another bad boy to fuck up my life again. <laughs> I love the fact that this episode was more like a mystery type in a way. Not like um forbidden deductions and stuff. Because that's like completely different. Um, But just a missing person's mystery and such. And finding her and securing her and being like, hey, yo. Like, hey. Due to your shenanigans, you're fucking up this. And if you fuck up this, this could be way worse for all of us. Do you really care? And, you know, there's some girls who are like, I really don't give two shits about that. I could care less. I could give a rat's ass. But no. Sucks that in the end, she had to go overseas in order to protect herself and her family. But, you know, you do what you got to do. Yes. Yes. The fact that he also was like, here, I'm going to give you the money. Even though she, in the end, she was like, I don't want it. I don't want your corneas. I don't want the money. I just want to get a brand new hair dryer, a hair dryer which you are going to buy for me. Even though I'm the one who broke it. Girl, once again, that, that's a walking green and red flag. He would buy you everything. Like, that. that is a man who wants to um, not only wine and dine her, but wants to give her everything. And the guy that I am talking to, he essentially wants to do that. And I'm just like, uh, cause see, here, here's my thing. And I think I'm, I'm going to talk to my guys and my girls about this uh, and such. Here, here's the thing with like, um, guys and I'll say maybe some girls too, that I've learned in the 30 something years of my life, <laughs> only dating like a, a really small amount of guys. One, I had one boyfriend a while back ago, the last the last relationship that I had before I met this guy, um, he bought me. Of course, he bought me like a copy of Kingdom Hearts three. I bought myself I bought myself two copies of Kingdom Hearts three. Mind you, he was trying to get me the limited edition PlayStation four for Kingdom Hearts three because you know obviously, um, and he couldn't because he tried and I tried. And I was like it's not there and it sold out. Um, but he got me this like the limited edition where you got like extra stuff with it and shit and so my mom found out and my mom was like um you know he's gonna expect any something in return and such and that is typical of most people like anything when they give you like when a guy gives you a gift nine out of ten they're going to expect something aka the word is sex duh um obviously which, which is true um, cause he, he was very honest with me about it. I was like, okay, what you expecting and such. And he, he really told me like, I was expecting this, but this, you don't have to, if you don't want to. And I really respected him for that and such. Hell, he even got me stuff on Valentine's day and I, I sent him something on Valentine's day as well. I, it was just a controller, mind you, for a gaming system because this other one was fucking up and such. Now, the one that I am talking to now, this dude wants to give me every little thing that you can think of uh, if i'm on like like you okay because we all know obviously my birthday is coming up on friday he wants to get me something for my birthday and i'm like no we've only been talking for a couple of weeks about a month going on next tuesday and i'm like no like we're, we're still in like the, the little friend zone and stuff i know you want to get me something but no because i don't want you to be like eh. And he's like, no, it's okay. I want to. Like, you're really sweet. And I really care for you. And I'm like, no, just you being there for me during my time and during my, you know, the day of me is the best gift in my opinion and stuff. And saying happy birthday to me. He he likes to leave me like these cute little like notes and everything um, on Snapchat. And I'm like, I can't. It, it's so freaking cute. Like I said, uh, one of the shows that I was recording, the, the mystery show, he sent me something 
Uh, he sent me a pic and I sent him a pic back and you can see in the video of me taking the Snapchat pic in the video and I was like, I'm sorry. <laughs> but it was so fucking cute. But no, this was an adorable episode with like hot, steamy. Girl, he fine as I don't know what shit. <laughs> I'm such a girl. Like, whoa, God. That's a fine mofo right there. Once again, fine ass mofo. But other than that, guys, that is my reaction view towards episode two of Yakuza's. <laughs> I'm say Yakuza. <laughs> Something else. Yakuza Beyonce. If you guys enjoyed it, please give me a like. It really helps me out. Also, subscribe to my channel. I make videos every single day. Join the Master Squad. And of course, I will see you guys officially all on Monday for episode three. But until then, I will see you guys all next time. Bye.